Uh, <laughs> oh, hey. What is it with these games, like, these story-related games that always have me saying really insensitive things that I feel kind of awkward saying? Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon Place Dead But Alive, Southern England, episode number two. Part of Falcon Spooky October Month here on the channel itself. Get comfortable, sit back, relax, and let's have a good time over here. Um, if you have not caught episode number one, I would encourage you to do so so you have an idea as to what the game is all about. There should be a link in the video somewhere on the screen that you could click and go check it out if you want to check out that for you. Anyway, right now we're continuing forward. We're done with day number seven over here. We talked to our individuals, or VIPs as we call them. Let's go ahead and uh, skip over to day number eight over here. Now, our noise is still up to 10, by the way. This actually does um, lower over time, but the higher it gets, the harder it gets to actually lower down. And again, too much noise, zombies will come over here to our little safe haven to attack, so we got to be careful with that. So right now, we're looking at, what, 17 action points? Oh, that was up to 20. You know what? I think we might have lost a survivor in our last pillage about. Yep, I think this will probably happen, because we're at 20. Every single survivor that we let into the group, not the VIPs, but just survivors in general, will add up to your action points. But if we're at 17, that is no good. That's no bueno at all. So, yeah, I think we lost a survivor with our last little excavation over there. Which is unfortunate, but so be it. Um, so we're at the 39 food, 6 bullets, 7 fuel, and 15 supplies, which we're trying to build up so we can make the fence around our area and be secure here. So for now, what I'm thinking we do is we probably go out. And let's see, so far it doesn't really seem like there's much here that's going to be easy for us to grab. I'm not too crazy about this. Um, we don't have too much fuel for a long trip either. So I'm thinking we probably go over to grab some ammunition first. This is going to take us, what, eight points to walk over there? I guess we have no choice because I want to save or conserve some of the fuel that we do have. So we're going to be going over to the Salisbury area. It's a nice town, and I have many fond memories of staying in the townhouse there. Let's go ahead and walk. We've heard rumors about a catch of supplies in the more populated area, and we decided it was worth the risk to check it out. A military checkpoint here was broken and abandoned, but it didn't look like the looters had found it yet. One of the group found a large locked strongbox, while everyone else reported that they couldn't find anything of use. After we opened the lock, we could find we could finally see what we came here for. We found a stash of uh, food, two, and we got only one bullet. Only one bullet? Who locks two pieces of foot in a, a food and a bullet in a cache? Come on. Alrighty, well, that didn't really work out too much. We lost way too much AP for that one to be really profitable for us. Uh, let's see, so we have fuel down here, but this is going to be a really dangerous area by the red. So I'm thinking we probably just go maybe here, 6 AP. You know what? It's not going to give us much to do back home. So as much as I hate doing this, let's go ahead and drive over there right now. Uh, let's see, today we went out to investigate an area in the countryside far away from the hordes roaming the city. One house was still locked up, but we found a spare key under the doormat. We heard movement, and we had our weapons drawn before the first zombie came into sight. A fight started. We've grown quite used to fighting for our lives since shit hit the fan. We buried the dead outside. It was a grim work, but it had to be done. Bodies everywhere. I'm just glad I'm not one among them. It frightens me how much some of the group have grown used to this life. That's not what we were here for, though. We wanted supplies, and we were committed to getting them. The study was very large. Excuse me, Steam, I'm over here recording. Can you not let me know about my one item in my inventory, please? <laughs> the study was large and lined with light wood and many books. A desk there had several drawers, one containing dried rusk, still fresh. We added some to our supplies. 17 food, that's really good. And the hallway had a hard stone floor of a white tiles and speckled light. We saw a peppered of bullets, a most useful addition to our supplies, and two good bullets over here. Not bad, now that was actually quite worth it, I would say. We have six action points left over. There's really not much we're going to be able to do here. Something we go back to the camp. And we use up those five extra points on some supplies over here. One of our survivors has been wounded. Ooh, we might be losing more people here. Let's see. We have two wounded or ill. Oh, you know what? We probably didn't lose anybody, but they just got um, hurt on our last expedition as well. So right now we have three survivors fit for duty, and uh, two are either wounded or ill right now. Okay. And uh, let's see, our VIPs, you're in fine health. Fine, fine, and fine. So none of our VIPs are hurt, thankfully. All right, so let's go over here, and let's, um, we have six action points left over. I'm thinking we probably go ahead and try to gather a few more supplies for our fence here. So let's go ahead and chop down. So what is going to, oh, it's going to cost me two fuel, though. Oof. We're down to four right now. I don't think we could actually sacrifice it right now, so let's just go ahead and cook. So we'll cook, we'll use up five AP, two food, and more than likely we'll get four in return. Yes, we did. Excellent. And I think now we just basically go ahead and skip to the next day over. Alrighty, good. 
15 action points. Again, the more people you have wounded, the less action points you actually have to spend around here on the base, which is no good. Uh, let's go out here for the day and find out what's happening. Luckily, there's food over here. Oh, gasoline. That's what we need. And this over here is going to be an addition to our group more than likely as well. Uh, let's come over here to the uh, grab some fuel. And we're going to walk over there for sure. Today we decided to check out some remote buildings we hadn't noticed on the map before. One house was still locked up, but we found a spare key hidden in the back garden. Who hides spare keys in the back garden? How would you know there's a spare key in a back garden, mind you? Like, if you're trying to break into a house with, like, you know, and look for a hidden key, don't you just look around the door itself, like maybe under the doormat, maybe on a chandelier somewhere next to it? A chandelier, is that the right word? No, I don't think people hang chandeliers outside of the doors. That would be kind of weird. Anyway, my sense of, um... Decking out a house aside, which is actually quite terrible. You know, I just put chandeliers outside of my house all the time. Anyway, they found a key back there, which is still kind of weird to me anyway. Not as weird as a chandelier by the door, mind you. More than more than the front room was cluttered with antiques and dropped furniture, we did a quick search, and under one cover found a desk containing a handgun. Ooh, and some bullets. So we got um two bullets right here and two fuel. Would have preferred a bit more fuel than just two, but so be it. Uh, let's see, we're down to nine action points. Can we get some more people in our group? We gotta walk there. Well, that's gonna be basically all of our action points for today, if I do that one. Unless we drive to both places, but... No. Our fuel is so low. You know what? We gotta walk over here. We have found another survivor who would like to join our group. Yes, accept her. Okay, good. So, obviously, there's gonna be more food being used up now, because more survivors, obviously. But at the same time, it does give us more action points to spend through the day to hopefully find more items going forward. Can we drive here? No, this requires 2 AP. That's unfortunate. Alrighty, let's just go back to our camp over here for now. And let's see, anybody want to talk to me? Renat has a little bit more to talk about. Let's see what she has to say. I cannot say I thought I'd be dealing with this kind of excitement again after I settled down in Bournemouth. My life had been quite... had been quiet for quite some time now. I preferred it that way. The lack of Zeds was especially appealing. Thinking back... Yeah. Very sarcastic there. Renard, I, I get you. I feel you. I'm the same way myself. Let's talk to Caroline over here. Camp is looking a bit better, isn't it? I really wouldn't say that. I think we still have a lot to do over here, Caroline. Almost to the point where I think it might be able to survive its fair share of Zets. Mm, yeah, I'd prefer not to test it out just yet. She's smiling. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? Surely you aren't afraid of a few shambling corpses now, are you? As a matter of fact, I am. Have you not seen what they've been doing to just about all the entire population over here in southern England, Caroline? It has come a long way, though. Maybe we're just about to the point where I can get to my family. I'm sure they're missing me by now, and I can't just keep them out there waiting for me. Wouldn't be polite. I'll just have to work harder to make sure we get this place even stronger and fast. Um, yeah, I'm sure your family is safe. Yeah, let's keep her happy. Oh, me too. No worries there, mate. Still, though, I can't help but worry a bit. If the food runs it, it if the food runs it, it won't matter how ready my family is for the Zeds. Either way, shouldn't be much longer now anyway. I'm coming home, everyone. I just hope you're all in the same condition I left you in. Yeah, for your sake, I would probably hope so as well. So we're basically done here for today. We really don't have much to do with action points here, so let's go ahead and skip over. We're on day number 10 now. Noise level is zero. Our supplies are looking relatively steady. 17 action points. Let's go out here and see if there's anything for us to explore. Food potential down here and gasoline, which we do need. But man, I'm not sure if I want to do a, a red icon just yet. But food would not be too bad, especially if we start having more people join us. So let's come over here. We'll walk over here. With our supplies running low, we decided to try our luck in a rural village several miles outside the city. A fight started. The air was thick with the stench of dead. At least one of the group threw up. <laughs> Why does that happen way too often? Someone called out to me and I ducked into some... Uh, I was going to be kind of the same as our last fight. Okay, so we got six food out of this one. We got one ammunition and seven materials. That's really, really good for our fence over here. I will gladly take it. Let's come down to this one over here. Let's walk over here if we can. We still have nine points left over. Uh, we went out looking for supplies today in some nearby countryside. The house we went into looked quiet and peaceful from the outside. You can bet we checked a couple of windows before we went in. We couldn't believe how lucky we were. The only inhabitants in this house were the spiders in their webs. Ugh. Honestly, for somebody like me who's scared of spiders, that's probably even worse than zombies. Like, especially big spiders. They're big spiders with their little multiple eyes and... Ah, um, no, I don't like it, sir. Uh, plus five food and one ammunition as well. Alrighty, we have nine left over. Can... Oh, Caroline was wounded. Not happy about that. Losing or having people from the VIPs get hurt. 
does take him out of the battle for a while, and they're really, really good for combat, so I'm not too thrilled about that one. So, what we could do is now come all the way down here for more food as well, or we just use up our action points for some tool gathering. I think that's probably the best thing we can do. So let's go back to camp, and let's go over to supplies, and... Hmm... We would have to use up fuel for this one, but you know what? I think that fence up and running soon could be really useful. So let's go ahead and chop down some wood. Yeah, only four fuel does hurt, though. We have four action points left over. I could drive over here, but do I really want to do it with Caroline Hurt right now? I don't think so. Oh, we could drive down here, too. But that's going to be all of our fuel, though. Ooh. No. I don't think we need food that badly that we're going to use up our last remaining fuel for it. So, no, it was worth a try, but let's go into the next day. Alright, Caroline has recovered already. That was actually quite fast. Apparently, she's Wolverine. Uh, day 11. Okay. Uh, 17 action points over here, 28 supplies. Let's see, I really need to get some more fuel, man. Another addition to the group, let's give this a try. There's a few small villages and hamlets in the line, the A352 here, and I remember stopping off to look at an old church or rectory at one of them with my father years ago, when we used to have that old white car. I wonder if I could ever find that place again. Will that place even survive the onslaught by these awful Zets, this terrible new plague? We have been in touch with a different survivor by radio who expressed interest in joining our group. We should check it out. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna walk over there. We have found another survivor who would like to join our group. Yes. Perfect. 11 action points left over. Still these red icons over here. Food down over this side. And more supplies over here, potentially. You know what? I'm gonna say... Yellow isn't too bad. You know what? We need gas. We need fuel, gasoline, whatever you want to go with here. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna walk it over there. Uh-oh. Why is that picture all bloody? We kept to the back streets and stayed undercover all the way into the city. Considering the mess the looters had made of the supermarket, the signs warning about shoplifting seemed absurd. We heard movement and we had our weapons drawn before the first zombie came into sight. A fight started. That was a close call. One of the zombies grabbed me, but one of my group members helped me out. Death is never pleasant, but sometimes it's the only way for us to stay alive. People can change so much. Some of the group had never raised a fist in anger before. You wouldn't believe it, watching them today. It frightens me how much some of the group have used to this life now. Now that the coast was clear, we could finally start looking for some supplies. Moreover, a sporting goods section in the supermarket had been stripped, but the looters had missed a shotgun and a few shells. So we got two ammunition, two fuel, and two materials. Was that worth it? Eh, you know, not really too much, but it's something. Let's go back home over here and um, skip over to the next day, unless we have a VIP to talk to. Steve wants to talk to us over here. Let's see what Steve, the old racist, have to say over here. Yeah, yeah, come on, Steve. Spit it out. Society going to hell isn't all bad, now that I think about it. I can finally say what I want to, who I want to, without some moron, politically correct baby whining about how I might hurt someone's feelings. You can call us said whatever the hell you want and nobody will even blink an eye. He's got a point. <laughs> People don't really care what you call zombies, huh? Anyway. Let's go ahead and um, skip over to the next day, day 12 over here. Alright. Supplies are looking pretty good. I think we have now enough supplies for part one of our fence. The only problem is that we're still missing one more survivor to become capable of that because we need 20 action points for it so unfortunately yeah until some people get it either healed up or stop being ill we're gonna be a bit short on that one so I think we go back out oh there's food over here more fuel over here but that's still red uh let's come down to more supplies would be pretty ideal as well we could walk over here 8 AP let's do that one we went out looking for supplies today in some nearby countryside we were amazed to find the back door to one house was unlocked yet there were no signs of looters having found it one of the covers was locked, which was a good opportunity to try out our lockpicking skills. The lock opened and we were surprised with what we found inside. We found 11 food, 1 ammunition, 5 fuel, and 8 materials. Wow, that was actually an amazing haul. Let's come over to... Hmm... Might as well... Well, we have 9 left over, huh? This will be 4. We have enough for an action back in the camp, so we'll walk over here. This is a long read. We heard rumors of a small farmstead nearby. This house had been abandoned in a hurry some time ago. A concealed door led us to some sort of panic room. We found a box of dried army rations in there. Five food. Furthermore, we searched through the drawers of a dressing table and found a new box of 9mm rounds, two ammunition. In the garage, we found half fuel cans too. Two fuel. And we also got six more materials. That was a really good haul as well. Good. Happy about those. Let's go back to the camp here. And I think with the leftover... Up. Oh, story event? Oh yeah. Okay. 
These actually will happen as well. I didn't talk about these because I wanted to keep them a bit of a surprise, but here you go. Let's see, alrighty. On your way back to the camp, you hear the sounds of a brawl ahead. As you come closer, you see two survivors fighting for their lives against five zombies. One survivor particularly stands out. He is black and a real giant of a man. He wields a large club like a small stick. Hurry up! Someone's in trouble! We have to help them! Are you crazy? What's it to you? I say we hide and wait. Maybe we'll even find something useful after the Zed are finished with him. Are you saying that because he's black, Steve? I get the feeling you just might be my racist friend. Um, let's go ahead and in investigate. Yeah, sure. Put everyone in danger for a stranger. Fuck. I hate this. Let's go. As you come closer, you watch the black giant smash one of the zombies' head with his club. Here you go. Who's next? Come on, you suckers! To your horror, you notice a sick zombie closing in on the two survivors from behind. Both seem oblivious to the danger from behind. Let's warn them, obviously, we came down this far, right? Irritated, the large survivor looks your way and then turns towards the new threat just in time to dodge a nasty blow from the bloody claws of the zombie behind them. Thanks! Why don't you join in and share the fun? We'd be delighted, wouldn't we, Jim? Jim's just uh, very silent about it, huh? Alright, Jim. Yeah, you have a lot to say, apparently. Attracted by the noise, one of the zombies turns towards you and starts growling. We had no choice but to find someone called out to me and I ducked just in time to avoid certain death. That's it. Thank you, although you've had half the fun. I'm Eric. In better circumstances, I say this was nice to meet you. But for now, I'll leave it at hello. Uh, what do you do? Oh, uh, yeah, let's just say hello. Good to see another survivor. He might want to join us as well. I think you're pretty good. Without you, I would have joined these undead freaks. Who are you? Are you part of a bigger group? Uh, as a matter of fact, we are. Ah, I see. Well, do you have room for new people? I hope you do, because we've had no food or shelter for at least two days now. Yeah, let's accept them. Great. I can make myself useful. You can start by giving my shoes a shine. Oh, good God, Steve. Good God, Steve. Who says that? Uh, oh, hey. What is it with these games, like these story-related games that always have me saying really insensitive things that I feel kind of awkward saying? I'm not your N-word, white trash. Hey, hey, let's be friends, okay? Steve, stop acting like such an asshole. I agree with Caroline. Steve, stop it. Sure. Steve spits on the ground, not too far from Eric's boots. I think that settles it. Welcome to our group. We'll introduce you to everyone back at the camp. Ah, I love Grandma. She's so nice. Let's over here and talk to Eric and see what he has to say about our little uh, racist friend, probably. Hey, nice camp you have here. Before I met you guys, I hadn't eaten for at least two days. Hey, you're welcome. It's gotten pretty harsh out there, you know. I met some bandits rounding up some other survivors, even kids. They do horrible things to them. As for the details, I guess I didn't really want to know about the details, but sure, game. Well, I've been through Yevil and met some people there. A family and two other guys with the girls. I went out to look for some supplies, but when I returned, they were being led away by armed thugs. One of the guys was gutted on the street and two other men were badly hurt. I don't want to tell you what they did to the girls. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think we kind of get the idea of what they probably did to little girls. Well, I wanted to say is that it's good to be with a larger group. Safety in numbers, right? I'm not gonna make sure I'm one. I'm gonna make sure I'm of use to the group. Alrighty, good. Let's talk to Caroline over here. You did well out there these last few days. Thank you. Very for that, Caroline. I really mean it. Oh. Oh, I guess you were saying it to me in a very condescending voice, were you? Okay, Caroline. Well, I guess thanks for clearing that up. I can't imagine how bad it would be. He's a real dumbass and will cause trouble. I guess he's talking about Steve. For some reason, whenever you click on this on occasion, like it just it's very sensitive to sometimes skips a line for some reason. Uh let's see. Uh I, I will agree with her. I don't I don't like Steve at all, obviously. He might be up to something behind your back, but you can be sure we'll stand by you and not him. That's good to see. In case there's a little bit of a uh, rebellious nature in Steve, he wants to take over the group here. Who's that? Oh, it's you, boss. I'm telling you, it won't be long before someone's killed. Because of those two do-gooders in the team. 
You know, Renat and Caroline. Um, should we agree with him? Maybe we could get him to stop hating us if we agree with him for once. Let's go agree with him. Sure, why not? I'm glad you see it the same way. Sooner or later, you will have to do something about it, though. Steve is not hating you anymore. Oh, that's good. He's not hating me anymore. Uh, thanks for the update, game. He is no longer hating me. <laughs> Just I'm being kind of facetious with that comment there and that statement by the game. Let me have a bit of water here. These uh, story-heavy games just kind of do a number in my throat. <laughs> That's what she... Never mind, never mind. Five action points, let's see here. Um, since we have a bit of fuel stored up, you know what I'm say? We go out here and uh, collect some wood. <laughs> uh, okay, it's happening again, isn't it? We lost two fuel, but we're up to 50 supplies. You know what, guys? Tomorrow, I think we start working on the fuel. So let's go over here and skip over. 21, that's perfect. We can now go ahead and check our defenses. Let's go ahead and build part of our friend's number one build. That's going to bring us down to one action point, obviously, and 20 supplies from 30, or 50 that we had. But it's okay, it's well worth it, I'm going to say, because we want to get our defenses in our base over here. So we won't be able to go out here today. So is the case. Let's see about... Let's talk to Eric here if we can. I can't believe how lucky I am to have run into a group of people like you lot. It's getting crazy out there day by day. So to find a group like this, good people willing to help each other? Well, besides Steve, of course. What a prick that guy is, huh? Uh, he's an asshole. Just trying to ignore him. A bit harder to know when he's always muttering something about me, just loud enough so I can hear him. Part of me thinks it would feel really good to just knock that stupid sneer off his face, though. Thing is, I've been dealing with that sort of bullshit my entire life. I lived in a small town and was the only not white child there most of my life. Been hearing garbage like that Steve is spewing since as uh, long as I could remember. That sort of thing starts to weigh on a man. Uh, apologize. Well, I'm not gonna apologize to him. I haven't been mean to him. I mean, I'm sorry for what's happened to him, obviously, but, you know, I don't want to necessarily, like, feel, like, I feel like whenever people apologize for something that you didn't really do, it's almost like condescending. Like, if I, if I mentioned to you, like, a problem that I had, and you're like, I'm sorry, like, at least to me, like, I just feel like you're saying it because you feel like you have to say it, but it's really, you have nothing to apologize for. I'm just venting to you. The apology seems like, you know, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Maybe it's just a personal quirk of mine. But let me ask him, how did you deal with that, instead? I don't know. Try to ignore it, like you said. Got in a lot of fights, you know? Got bigger. I don't know. I thought that might help. Sort of did. Now, most of the people at least don't say that type of shit to my face. That's true, you are kind of an intimidating man, Eric. I can still see it in the way they looked at me sometimes, though. Look, I try to be cool with Steve. At least I can promise if he doesn't start shit with me, I won't start any with him. You just keep an eye on him, though. If he says anything that deserves a response, know that I won't hesitate to give one. Sounds adequate enough. I mean, he's got a point. If we can just be friendly with each other, we'd be fine. So right now we have five people fit for duty. Three are either wounded or ill. All of my VIPs are actually in good condition, right? Nobody's hurt? No, everybody's fine. Alrighty, good. I think we're wrapping up here for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. We will continue next episode, and um, I will catch you then.